Today we are talking about alternative medicines. Like herbs. You think that the alternative medicines and herbs do work or you don't think they do at all? What do you think? I am Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist and a weight loss specialist. Today we are talking about the herbs. I do integrative medicine as well. I do modern medicine and traditional recipes together so everybody's happy. We will list the best herbs today to help you keep your diabetes in check. Now, our new SugarMD Advanced Glucose Support Supplement is also very popular with a lot of people. It has everything that we are going to talk about today. Now, you got questions? Ask. I will answer all of your questions on this video about these herbs. Let's start with bitter melon or bitter gourd, some people call it. So, if you want to lower your blood sugar, you can't use every part of a bitter melon for sure but that is a secret in any supplement right so we are using a part of a bitter melon and bitter melon has been used actually for a long time as a medicine for things like lowering cholesterol lowering blood sugar etc and it that's because it, it has a lot of phenolic compounds that could be antioxidants all parts of bitter melon have been used in traditional medicine to also treat like digestive problems even infections problems with menstruation because it helps with the insulin resistance for PCOS, for example, and many other things. Now, a study, for example, has shown, a real study, bitter melon has a lot of powerful antiviral properties too. So yeah, with the COVID and everything, bitter melon may be a very good immune system booster and it boosts body's natural killer cells to fight viruses. Another study found that the bitter melon has anti-cancer properties and actually can be used to fight many types of cancer. A study found that the extract of bitter melon changes the signaling pathways that stop the breast cancer cells from growing and can be used as a dietary supplement to prevent the breast cancer. So there's a lot of promises in that little tiny herb. Uh, let's talk about how it really helps the blood sugar because that's our main purpose, right? So the bitter melon and its various extracts and components are taught to lower the blood sugar through a variety of physiological, pharmacological, and biochemical ways. So first of all, it can stimulate the skeletal muscle to glucose or to use glucose better and stop the fat cells from growing. And it also stops the gluconeogenesis, which is the process of making glucose in your liver when you are not eating, for example, and keep the islet cells, the beta cell function intact to make more insulin, which is super important for you to be able to make insulin and prevent reduction in your insulin levels. So how about turmeric, right? That's another thing we have in our supplement. Now, this herb is part of a ginger family. It has been used for a long time in Ayurvedic and traditional Chinese medicine to treat things like diabetes, metabolic syndrome, cardiovascular disease, and so forth. Now, the only problem with turmeric is its bioavailability. So if you're taking as a regular herb, your body is not going to absorb a big portion of it. So it's not going to reach significant amount in your system to show the medicinal properties. Now in Sugar MD Advanced Glucose Support, you do not have that problem because we used the most bioavailable form of curcumin. Now as complicated as the chemical makeup of turmeric is, curcuminoids we call them and the essential oils have been shown to be very good for the body overall. Now Turmeric has a lot of curcumin in it and the most common curcuminoid found in the turmeric and that curcumin can change a lot of cell signaling pathways when it achieves that significant effective doses in your body. Now then it, it can treat the cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes and many related problems. Now there are other things that the curcumin can do or turmeric uh, whatever you want to call it uh, to keep diabetes from progressing. It reduces your oxidative stress and inflammation and other problems like that is pertinent to diabetes such as high blood pressure and high cholesterol can also be managed with curcumin. Now, all of these things are related to diabetes as you know, right? So our supplement definitely has the most available form of turmeric, which is curcumin. And it's a great way to make sure that you get enough of the spice every day. And if you cannot, the supplement will definitely help. Now, curcumin help people with diabetes control and their lipid control by changing the activity of enzymes that play a role in those metabolic processes. So 
Turmeric may also be able to lower the triglyceride levels, like in the total cholesterol, but curcumin also help regulate the liver enzymes that control the levels of lipids and glucose in your body uh, because it is anti-inflammatory. Now, adiponectin is another hormone that is mostly found in your fat tissue, which is a good hormone. It helps control your blood sugar levels and the breakdown of fatty acids. Now, curcumin may be able to help cut down on the inflammation factors like tumor necrosis factor and nitric oxide and so forth, but uh, curcumin can also help diabetic uh, nephropathy and other problems. Nephropathy is the kidney disease caused by type 2 diabetes, right? So curcumin has both phenols and flavonoids that can fight off these free radicals that are causing the damage in your body and slow down the oxidative damage that happens when you have diabetes and high blood sugar. So it basically makes the superoxide dismutase eliminate that and work as an antioxidant as well. Now the next on the list is gymnema. There's a lot of insulin being released from the pancreas when this great herb is used, actually. It also slows down the glucose absorption into the blood, which has a great results. Like gymnemic acids have some atomic arrangements that will fill the receptors in the taste buds also, and it'll actually make it hard for you to taste the sugar anymore or the sugar is not going to be attractive to you anymore. In the same way in the intestine it attaches to your receptors on the outside of the intestinal cells and it stops the intestinal cells from taking the sugar molecules in and lowers the blood sugar levels. On the other hand, gymnema it really is great to stop the tongue tasting uh, the uh, the difference between sweet and bitter. So sweet may, may taste like bitter to you. The glucose lowering effect of gymnemic acids actually start with a change of activity in the incretins, which are the hormones in the intestine that helps insulin to be released and secreted. Uh, there are medications actually out there that does that, like the Ozempic or Trulicity or Victoza, Arubalsis, Pyrene, and so forth. They're all incretin mimetic drugs. Now, Gymnema, on the other hand, it is the herbal equivalent of these medications. Now, you're using an herb that can do the same things that actually some expensive medications can do. And if it works for you, why not use medications, right? But Gymnema also helps the pancreatic cells to regenerate. So, see, when you are diabetic, you already lost 50-60% of your uh, beta cells if you're type 2 diabetic. So you don't want to lose any more beta cells. So Gymnema, as a result, is a great herb to help you prevent further damage or further cell death. When you do that, the enzymes that help you to keep your blood sugar down will also work better. Now, the, this medicine also, like we talked about, you know, it, it prevents the glucose absorption and fatty acids in your intestine. It also stops the receptors in your mouth and intestine that sense the sweetness. There is a key enzyme in the process of breaking down glucose, which is called glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase. And that enzyme is a huge factor, and gymnemic acid has been found to interact with this enzyme. This pathway causes blood sugar levels to rise by breaking down the glycogen stores, especially when people are starving. But, you know, when you have diabetes, you don't have to have starving. You know, these enzymes are overactivated, so gymnema will break that pattern. So your blood sugar is not going to keep rising even when you're fasting. Now, next is fenugreek. Again, that's in our supplement as well. It's an aromatic plant that can be used in many different ways in both cooking and as a medicine as well. It is an important part of actually Indian curries, uh, if you like the Indian food, except that Indian food can be very carby sometimes. But this plant has small round leaves and long pods with a unique bitter tasting seeds. They're very common in South Asia, North Africa, and parts of the Mediterranean. It is also common in parts of North America. Now, how does it work? Let's talk about that. The fenugreek can help lower blood sugar by causing the insulin to rise or release from beta cells after you eat. Fenugreek has a lot of health benefits and is used in Ayurvedic and traditional Chinese medicine for centuries. It's also used a lot in cooking. If you want to buy it, you can either buy it fresh or dried. You can also buy it whole and grind it or just buy the Sugar MD Advanced Glucose Support if you're not a big fan of fenugreek in your dishes, right? But the fenugreek has been studied a lot to see if it can help people with diabetes. 
That's why we put a lot of high quality fenugreek in our very concentrated form in our advanced glucose support formula because fenugreek seeds have been shown to lower blood sugar levels and improve glucose tolerance in people, in diabetic people. It can also help with the metabolic symptoms of diabetes, the thirst, the hunger, the fatigue, and weight gain, and so forth. Now, researchers in India, since they love that kind of stuff there, found that adding fenugreek seed powder to your daily diet, if you're an insulin-dependent diabetic, these patients definitely, even when they're insulin dependent, had lower sugar levels, they had improved glucose tolerance, they had a better LDL, the bad cholesterol and triglyceride levels when they're using fenugreek every day. So people with type 2 diabetes who added powdered fenugreek seed to a meal, they ate and they, when they did that, they cut their blood sugar quite a bit. Now people who took fenugreek twice a day for like three months also has seen a drop in their A1C levels. Now, besides being good for your health, what else does fenugreek do? Now, free radicals, as you know, are unstable chemicals that can damage the cells in your body. And when you have diabetes, you have a lot of those. When you have diabetes, the fenugreek seeds, they have these vitamins and minerals and antioxidants that can actually help protect the cells from these free radicals. As a result, it can help prevent diabetes complications as well, not just lowering your blood sugar. But fenugreek has also even been used by nursing mothers for to generate even more milk. So it is just a miracle herb that helps in many ways. They are also often used as a herbal remedy even to treat cold and sore throat, etc. for immune support uh, because they also have a powerful antiviral properties. Now, Again, according to research, fenugreek seeds can help with arthritis, high cholesterol, skin problems, wounds, rashes and boils, bronchitis, even abscesses. Of course, with the abscess, you will need antibiotic or drainage sometimes, but that will definitely help prevent that. It can help with the constipation, abscess stomach, renal problems, kidney problems, heartburn, infertility, and even some types of sexual dysfunction as well. Now, jambalon or jambalana, or the scientific name is Sigium uh, cumini in scientific terms, right? So, but some people call it just Malabar plum or Java plum or black plum or jamun or whatever. There's so many names for the same thing. They all mean the same thing, but the jambalon, we call it jambalon in our supplement, is used in folk medicine to treat diabetes. Now, taking extracts from the seeds and the bark of the jambalon plant will lower blood sugar, but interesting enough, Extracts from the leaves and the fruit, for example, don't seem to lower the blood sugar. Because some supplements you buy, for example, they'll say they have jambalon in it, may not work as well because if they're not really using the jambalon seeds, exactly. So this is why it makes a difference what kind of one supplement you're buying and where you're getting it from. There's also chemicals in jambalon that might protect against oxidation. It is also used for digestive problems such as uh, you know, flatulence, uh, bowel spasms, stomach problems, and diarrhea. Another thing that it can be used for is treating lung problems like bronchitis and asthma. Now, some people use jambalan as an aphrodisiac to make them even more interested in having sex. I cannot guarantee you that, uh, depending on your age, but something to consider. Now, for constipation, jambalan seed is used in combination with other herbs as well. It is also used for pancreatitis or prevention of pancreatitis, uh, stomach problems and anxiety disorders, even for depression. Uh, there are times when uh, jambalan can be directly put into your mouth and throat to help with the pain caused by swelling and inflammation when you have a severe cold, etc. It can also be used sometimes to treat the skin infections and skin ulcers, etc. Of course, in modern medicine, they don't use it, but in India and China, they still use these approaches. Now, the next one is swercia. The swercia plant extracts of swercia, for example, can be made from different parts of the herb. It can help people with diabetes. That studies already has been done. The flavonoids in the plant extract make it a very good at preventing diabetic complications as well. Now, this herb is native to Himalayas and that herb Svercha Chariada has been used in traditional medicine to treat a lot of illnesses as well. Now, some of them include the liver disorders, uh, of course, diabetes, and it's known to have a wide range of pharmacological properties. You can find a lot of information about it, especially in the Indian and British literature, 
and different types of traditional medicine like Ayurvedic and Chinese medicine. Now, other than the diabetes, we know this plant also helps the liver protection, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, anti-carcinogenic, antiviral, and antimicrobial as well. So which are all good for you. The next one is Amla. Another one in our supplement, again, like everyone else we discussed, it is also called Ambilica officinalis and has been used in Ayurveda for a long time. There are active compounds in that fruit that make this Amla fruit so good for you. Now, that's in the fruit, not the other parts of the amla, right? So how you extract these herbs make a whole lot of difference in terms of their efficacy in terms of lowering your blood sugar. So amla was first used to treat digestive problems, the coughs and asthma, and improve even the hair growth uh, if you have boneless problem, and of course as a longevity medicine as well. However, recent studies shown that it can be a great part of a diabetic diet, it has a great effect on blood sugar, and most sample of fruits, amla fruits, uh, have a yellow, green, Green and have a they're kind of a round shape. Not only they are used to, uh, to make medicine, but uh, they also make great dishes and pickles, etc. It has a lot of antioxidants in them. People who eat a lot of whole foods like amla are they they get the best source of antioxidants. There are 60 times more antioxidant than pomegranates, for example, in amla. 50 times more antioxidants than blueberries. Uh, twice as many as turmeric. So you figure. 45 to 70 percent of it is antioxidant powder comes from the vitamin C in it that is totally natural in there. Now, amla keeps cancer at bay as well. The studies have shown that taking amla can prevent the lung, cervix, and breast cancer, as well as other types of cancer. The amla extract can help the multiple enzymes and remove harmful mutations from the immune cells as well. Amla also improves your HDL and lowers your LDL level and your total cholesterol. So again, that's a common problem with diabetes, uh, triglyceride problems, and so forth. This is one of the many benefits that AMLA can give for diabetes, like lowering the cholesterol and lowering the blood sugar directly. It increases your HDL, which is a great protective cholesterol component as well. Now, triglycerides, as you know, is, is a harmful uh, lipid and can give you heart disease and so forth uh, and so many other problems. Now, AMLA also helps your kidneys stay safe. So how does it do that? Well, there's a lot of vitamin B6, which is known to help prevent kidney stones. And is the COX-2 enzyme, for example, in the body can cause kidney problems. That's why COX-2 inhibitors, some NSAIDs, you know, those pain pills can kill your kidneys. It can lower these things in the body, the AMLA, and as a result, prevent kidney damage. So AMLA also makes you more resistant to infections when you have diabetes. And one of the benefits of AMLA is that it can help your body fight off infections so much better. Now, when you're diabetic, you know you're prone to infections or viruses or bacteria. So eating AMLA or taking AMLA supplements will activate your natural killer cells. These are powerful cells that can fight off any infection or tumor. Now, what else it does? It helps keep your body in balance. How does it do that? Well, AMLA actually make your body more adaptogenic. It makes it easier for your body to stay balanced in all bodily functions, such as glucose tolerance, the sexual behavior, cognitive function, and behavioral wellness, since you know, your behavioral and cognitive function is part of your overall health. Guys, I talked about everything we have in our advanced glucose support. It is ready for you to check it out. I don't think you will regret it. Take it at least four weeks to make a decision. Take two capsules with every meal uh, if you are going to use it. And you will see the uh, results fairly quickly. I think maybe in a week or maybe up to four weeks. But most of you will benefit from it. If you don't want to take supplements, try to use them as much as in your foods and your daily habits. And I hope you guys achieve your diabetes control as easy and as the most natural ways possible. So we'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.